What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. It's been a hot minute since you've seen me back on the channel. I was doing some business up in Illinois. Hey, we cashed, baby. First time this year. It's been a tough year for me. I haven't been playing too great. Uh, but the game's starting to kind of feel on the incline, so that was good. I placed about 40th or so. I didn't play incredibly well, but I definitely played good enough to be in the money. I think I took home around $800 or so. So not a bad little weekend up in Illinois. But while I was gone, oh my gosh, was Kelsey busy? Uh, yep, that's right. She beat me to 25. She got to 28 and is flying flying to 50 now that is the next thing she gets to pick whatever hobby box she wants to rip so we'll see what she ends up deciding and uh like i said she has been busy not just here on youtube but also over on whatnot we actually are going live tonight doing a steals and deals show if you've never been a part of it you definitely want to go check it out you can use our link in the description you get 15 dollars to use over on whatnot we're going to be having tons of cards that are going up, tons of giveaways. Speaking of giveaway, we still have this giveaway going on of a Hobby Contenders Blaster. All you have to do is like and subscribe the video from a couple uh, weeks ago, and we're going to be picking the winner of this very soon, so be on the lookout for that. But tonight's show is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be ripping, uh, not ripping, sorry, we're going to be basically throwing Sudden Death, five seconds, really nice cards up there that you guys can get at really good discounts, so definitely check that out. This Friday, uh, we're gonna be doing the debut of Darkfinity, if you have no idea what that is. Oh my gosh, are you in for a treat? It is going to be a lot of fun. And we got breaks Saturday and Sunday, so definitely jump in, use the link, get $15 off, and just to show you kind of what you can pull, these are some of the highlights from the past few breaks with Kelsey. What is this? What is this? Final one of one. One of what? one. Ooh. One of one. Wait, is it? Awooga! One of one! Awooga! One! Please, 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 please. Oh, my. It's, 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 a it's a downtown. It's a downtown. It's a downtown. Oh, Cooper! Awooga! As you can see, absolute fire. No surprise, her name is Kasich Kelsey, pulling fire all over the place. But today is my time. Uh, we got a full case of this, as you guys probably saw, with some of the hits that we pulled out. Uh, a really good case so far. I think we only actually have three boxes left, so we'll probably do the rest of those this weekend. Uh, but we did buy one Lucy, and this was our one Lucy outside of the case uh, for us to rip on YouTube right here for you guys. Now, the fiasco that we've seen with FOTL, it does look like Panini did come out with a statement, which again, we haven't been around that much. So it's tough to really say like, oh, we know for sure what's going on. So I, I pay attention to like Acme Packs. I pay attention to RGL. I pay attention to a lot of those guys to see what they have to say on it. And apparently Panini doesn't ever come out and say, hey, we messed up, we screwed up. So this was very rare for them to actually go out of, I'm gonna change this a little bit. That was very rare for them to kind of go out and basically just straight up say, hey guys, we screwed up our bad. So yeah, the FOTL boxes, um, you know, whether you wanna take their reasoning or not, it, it sounds like there was a handful of them. So it doesn't seem like they flooded the market as much as maybe we initially thought. But it's definitely going to make the downtowns go down, right? It, it, it is. It, it's just going to make them go down. And to me personally, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Like I don't – if I'm ripping packs and I know I'm going to pull seven downtowns, eight downtowns, it, it no longer becomes very, very fun to pull a downtown. So that's what I have to say on that. Um, but the optic hobby boxes were not affected and honestly have been really good. We do have a dark blue here to start off have been really good for us. These are a great product to rip. We have really enjoyed it. It seems like a lot of people on whatnot also have really enjoyed it as well. And DeMarcus Ware on the color match there out of 199. Um, so I don't know if we're actually gonna get any more cases of Optic. I think we're gonna probably be one and done with this product, but it has been a fun rip nonetheless. 
We have enjoyed it. And with that being said, we only have three boxes left. So we'll rip those last three, see what they have. And today, let's see if we can pull downtown. It is possible. Um, you, it seems like there's about three to four case hits per uh, case with, you know, one downtown normally, and then you've got Rookie Kings and Mythicals also, bl Blazers also popping out. So um, just because you hit a downtown doesn't mean you're not going to get anything else good. But And this is also, I love it, man. Really cool. Um, I wish Kelsey was here, but she got to rip like eight of these boxes already. So I don't feel too, too bad ripping this without her. But this is a sick, sick insert. And hopefully it's on a big name player here. JSN. DK Metcalf, we'll take that. Very sick on the, uh, what do they call, what are they calling this? It's out of 69, 33 out of 69. They call this, some people are calling it Pikachu. Uh, other people are calling it, was it Flash or something? Oh, am I going to have to do this? Out of 69 is, they got Shield, which is sick. Electricity, I guess, is what that one's called. Pink Velocity is nasty. Yeah, that's called Electricity. Um, but a lot of really cool, a lot of really cool color coming out of Optic, which makes Optic Hobby a really fun rip. It really does. Now, let's get on my high horse and let's talk about some breaking, some because some crazy stuff has been going down. Uh, a breaker that I actually have watched a little bit over on whatnot. Uh, it's the VIP guys, VIP rips, VIP hits. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, they're probably all connected in some way. They just actually got banned off of whatnot because a little Tyree Kill on the hollow because um, they basically they, they use cards where we use a we use a randomizer, so we're not in control at all. We can't we can't fudge the numbers. We can't do anything. When someone wins an auction, the randomizer just goes and whoever lands on, that's who you get as a team. Now, when you use cards and you're shuffling and you're telling people, all right, tell me a number, there is definitely uh, people out there that are very good sleight of hand, very good card counters, very good like there's something on the card, like a little tick or something that they know that that's like the Texans or that's the Colts. And they're able to put that in a position that they know most people aren't going to say. Uh, for example, if they have a full deck of 32, most people aren't probably going to say 17, 18, 19. So maybe they'll try to keep it there versus one through seven or the last couple cards. But uh, with that being said, what actually happened, and I'll show you kind of here with after I open this pack. If you guys didn't see the video. Okay, this is a new one too. Flex is also a pretty cool little parallel. Josh Downs, Harold Landry. How about Kyler Murray? This guy's stock is going up. He's going to have a lot more weapons. And uh, we might see some good stuff. That's a thick boy. We might see some good stuff this year out of Kyler Murray. So not a bad guy to start kind of getting some nice cards of right now. And that's going to be out of 149 there. 89 out of 149 on the flex. You can kind of see the little flex emojis right there. Kind of cool card. Not too shabby. I need to move this back so it gets the lighting on the cards. Um, okay, so to finish my story, basically what ended up happening was the person asked for the bottom card. So they were like this, okay? And let's just pick a team. Let's say like this, okay, so the Colts. Let's say that's the Colts and there's the Bears. Perfect. This is actually going to work perfectly. So they're like this, right? You can't see what the cards are. And they're basically, they're like, all right, and they're just messing around. They're like, what what number do you want? And the person says bottom. And when they say bottom, they slide a hand, do it way better than I can. I have no slide of hand. But essentially what they do is they take these two and push those down. There you go. You couldn't even see that really well, right? But essentially they take the bottom two cards, they put them down, and then they block them with this, and then they flip it over and show that they got the Saints. And then they push the Saints off, and then boom, they got it back in. So that's what ended up happening. They're banned. Uh, it sucks to see that people are willing to do that stuff. And honestly, I was in the process of looking for cards um, be, uh, because some people were like, hey, it'd be sick to have like Dark Horse cards. Also, you know, the randomizer, I guess for some people, they feel like they don't have like any any control over it and they would like to be able to pick their number. Same thing as like 
me picking a box to go in a break versus you guys picking a box to go in a break, right? And um, he's got an insert here. Um, Jalen Hyatt there on the insert hidden potential. And so I was looking into getting cards because I was trying, you know, I'm always trying to make the shows better and make breaking better and making everyone's experience better. And so when they, when I saw that, and then I saw some other shady stuff happening with people that have cards, I was like, I'm out. Sorry, I'm out, guys. I, uh, whether you trust me or not, that's not that's not the point. Is this a Pandora? No, it's just the insert. Willis McGahey. Um, dang, that insert, man, with the black really is crazy there. But uh, yeah, essentially, I'm out. So don't expect to have any Dark Horse cards in any future breaks. Not going to happen, guys. Um, simply because I don't want anyone jumping in a break. I mean, obviously, you guys know who we are. And you know that we take this very seriously. We take your guys' money very seriously with your purchases and everything like that. Um but there might be, there's a Jane Reed. There might be people coming in that don't know who we are, right? Because that's, there, there's a little bit of a difference, right? Some of these people, they don't have a face cam. You have no idea who they are. They don't have a social media outside. They don't have anything. So they can pretty much just get away with whatever they want. Their account gets banned or they get they delete their account and they, they restart. No one has any clue, right? A lot harder for like someone for us to do anything. Um, so I think that kind of definitely gives trust already uh we do have a light blue it looks like um but even with that being said like i just don't even want to put that thought or idea in anyone's head so no cards but ooh, a little randall cunningham there out of 299 uh you know just just i always say this breaking is awesome it's a lot of fun it makes a lot of sense i know some people hate it but here's the thing guys me, Sage, and one of our buddies, Cole, we almost did our own personal break on prison football because we saw when we first started the channel, we saw how expensive prison football was going to be. It was like a $900 box, a $1,000 box when it first came out. Crazy, right? Because now it's like $1,700 or something. Uh, these are all base pack or all base. Um, one rookie there, Derek Hall. We almost did our own personal break where we all went in on a little bit. Because we wanted to open it, but we didn't want to risk that much money, right? That So breaking's always been around. It's always going to be around. It makes sense. There's a lot of people that love seeing cool cards, love ripping wax, but aren't willing or able to spend $2,000 to buy a hobby box and just get absolutely destroyed. So it doesn't hurt as bad uh, when you only have 100 bucks or so in it. There's a Bijan. We'll take that. And a Micah Parsons there on the light blue. We haven't, I don't know if we've hit any rookie. That's out of 299. Have we hit any rookie color yet? I don't think so, right? Micah, Randall, Kyler, DK, and Demarcus Ware. Yeah, no rookie color yet. Are they saving it for a big hit, folks? Are they keeping the monster for us at some point? I hope so. But that's my little rant. That's like my little story time stuff that, you know, if you guys are interested in me kind of, Talking about stuff that I see on podcasts or on other YouTube channels here as well when I'm opening, please let me know. If not, and you just want me to stick to football, Gabriel Davis on the hollow, let me know as well. Obviously, football is around the corner. Kelsey is getting ready for her first preseason home game, which is against the Cowboys, and that is in two weekends. So not this weekend. No, sorry, three weekends. Not this weekend, not next weekend, the following weekend. Uh, that's actually your second game. The first preseason game I'm actually going to be at. So very exciting. Ooh, we have an auto here, and it's from uh, 2020 or 2022. They're putting some autos from older players. And how about a David Bell? Our David Bell is going to be our auto here out of 2022 out of 150. Not really what we're looking for, but at the end of the day, you're not really opening optic for the autos anyways. So would have probably liked to have a rookie from this class, you know, a Puka. There's still some good Bijan. There's still some good auto potential. Uh, obviously, AR being the best, but, you know, it's fine. Hopefully, this is leading us to some bigger cards on color with rookies since we haven't hit a single rookie. And there's our first rookie uh parallel it's gonna be our hollow of 
uh, Blackman there for the Vikings. All right. Still nothing crazy in this box. I really hope I don't get absolutely destroyed. These boxes are now pretty pricey. When they first came out, there were a couple, you know, 875, 850, somewhere in that range. Now I think they have gone up closer to 1,000, I want to say, at least 900. Uh, nothing here. Lockett and Michael Thomas. We did get a Gibbs, which is nice. But yeah, they, they're definitely pricey. Um, so I would love to see a little bit because right now, guys, I don't know if we have $50. I mean, that's a couple bucks, a couple bucks, a couple bucks. Yeah, a couple bucks. That might be maybe 10. That might be like maybe 15, 20. A couple, yeah, I think, I don't know if we're at 50 bucks. I don't know if we're at 50 bucks. Did Kelsey strategically say, you know what? You, you stay at home and you open this one. Uh, did I get absolutely shellacked? She got all the good stuff and our loose box is going to be absolute cheeks. Um, that would be very sad. I would be very sad. We are down to our final five packs here. Holy cow. Five packs. No rookie color. We have one rookie hollow to speak of. Our rookie auto. That's going to be an insert chain reaction. That's going to be Jonathan Taylor on the chain reaction and Donovan Cur uh, Javon Curse there. Oh, boy. Boys. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That's going to be orange. I think it's out of $2.99. We'll, uh, we'll take a Stroud here. For the love of God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, uh, we might be taking one on the chin, guys. So if you have made it this far, first off, hashtag Tadpole. Gang, appreciate you guys always supporting. But uh, like the video. Immediate, I, I, need, I need at least 500 likes. If there's five of you, 500 of you still watching at this point, take three seconds and like the video because, oh, my word, are we getting absolutely shellacked right now. Dark blue. We are getting shellacked right now. I did like the color. I did like the... Bricey Poo? No. Of course not. DJ. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Two defensive rookies on the color with two packs to go. That's out of 50. A Bricey Poo would have been very nice there for us. Would have made back maybe 100 bucks. 150, something like that. But we are going to need an absolute nuke in one of these last two packs. Light blue. Purdy? No, yeah, you're brown. Jeez, another defensive player. Holy cow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This, this might be... Three out of two ninety nine. This might be one of the worst boxes of optic of all time. I mean, th this is definitely Kel Kelsey has probably ripped. Was there 12, 12 boxes in a case? So Kelsey's ripped nine, and not a single one has been this bad. All right, we're left with a flex. All right, well, at least we have a flex here to finish it off. It's got to be a QB rookie. Well, that is how you lose $800, folks, in a matter of uh, less, less than 20 minutes. Woo, baby, that, that, that hurt. That hurt. This box stunk. Holy cow. We got all of our rookie color. We got, I think, three rookie colors. And they're all defensive players. Not big defensive players either. Um, our auto is trash. I mean, honestly, like our rookie. <laughs> I mean, th these are probably our best two cards. And I don't know if this is like, this might be $30. And these are probably our best two cards. Um, yeah, we, we did not make $100 back here. Yeah, we just, we just got, we just, we just basically got smoked for 800 bucks right there. 800 bucks down the tube. Uh, but that's why we do it. You know, we, we do it so you don't have to at home. 
Uh, you don't have to at home. Yeah, Optic, very, very dangerous product, obviously, to open uh, right now. I mean, if you have L if you have FOTL, if you were able to get that for like 1200 bucks or something, however much it sold for, and you have that laying around, I mean, either sell it or rip it, whatever you want to do, but a uh, good chance to make your money back here. But this is why uh, this is why it's very scary, and this is honestly why we don't have any of optic in our in our store over on whatnot we do a lot of personals where people can buy a hobby box and we'll rip it for you um this product especially is just it's very very tough to make your money back at this price point so that's why we don't even offer it uh because we don't even want people to get smoked like we just did that i mean that was that was an absolute bruising so there you have it optic hobby holy smokes uh what product are you guys most excited for coming out we got Select coming out at some point. We've got, uh, what What else? Panini 1, Optic H2. That will be interesting to kind of see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I got Keeps in the Nuts. It happens. And uh, I'm glad it was me and not you. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully see you tonight. Keep ripping them packs.